What's going on? So I just wanted to update you on my current plans for my upgrading. Um, so I have, I just bought the uh, $20 uh, Hat of Crystals pack. Uh, it was $20 for 2,000 uh, crystals and I had, my, my goal was 400, uh, to obtain for free 400 crystals uh, so that I would have 24 uh, so that when gadget uh, rolls around, um, my choices were either uh, max out a gadget because even at the lowest odds, 8, 16, 24, um, 800 crystals each, uh, you would get five, uh, you would get three chances at five to 22. Um, even at the lowest, like just being super unlucky, I would still max out a gadget. I was going to do mermaid, but I think if I get gadget at 15, I can stop focusing it on gadget and then focus on mermaid. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm currently at three uh, page of secrets. Uh, so I'm going to actually use that. Uh, my original plan was to use it on uh, Spirit Master to get Spirit Master from uh, 13 to 14 to 15. Um, and I think I'm instead going to uh, use it on my Enchant Sword. Um, I think that uh, being able to auto level up a thing um, is obviously really good. And obviously you want to use it on your... Uh, uh, your, your uh, he, what's it called event specific heroes um, because the only way that you can necessarily get them in any kind of efficient manner is to keep buying the pack um, and that's ten dollars but if you once you start getting into the three crystals um, if you do two months of the of the premium pass uh, you will up upgrade it faster and with less money um, so my original plan was to do spirit master from 13 to 14 and then in two months get it to 15 and max that out um, I think I'm going to instead use... I just upgraded my, my sword, which is why I only have the two magic crystals. I just got the two magic crystals um, from the rune, uh, from those two runes. Uh, and so my original plan was to upgrade Spirit Master to 14 and then to 15, but I realized that getting uh, Enchant Sword to 13 and getting a Proving Look um, opens up your chances for... Diversi diversifying both diversifying your the decks that you can use um, because of the 50% chance to remove all negative effects um, but you're also gaining um, in the increased attack speed uh, with the 10 boosts so not only will you get the uh, the the crit chance uh, from just basically getting the 10 uh, the 10 times when a unit bu it buffs uh, reaches maximum its critical damage chance increases. So not only will you be getting this 5% damage uh, chance, critical damage chance increase, uh, but you will also be gaining a 10% uh, increase in your attack speed. And I'm really trying to push Blooming Dash Blade Dancer to, I, I, like my only goal, um, and I don't know if you saw my last stream uh, where I said like, you know, win one, lose two. Um, but my only goal for like the length of time playing this game is to get 69.20. I don't even care about 7,000 and like all of the beyond uh, like rewards. I just want to get this extra legendary chest because you get a, uh, a choice. Um, it's one of those like Archmage kind of chests. Um, and getting just an extra legendary chest and getting a choice, it would be insane every month to just to be able to do that every month. Um, I don't think it's a high aspiration to, to be able to get to 6920, but using my current deck with its current levels, um, I think that these are the better choices. Um, it's to max gadget to 15, and that, or because my gadget is so close to 15, uh, to get my gadget to 15, and then to get the Enchant Sword to 13. Um, I think that will drastically increase my, my chances of getting to that coveted 79, or 6920. Um, but yeah, that's my plan. Um, I just thought I'd update you on it. Um, I still don't have Banshee, which I think is insane. I had I got another uh, clock and another witch in my last legendaries, uh, the recent legendaries that I just obtained, and um, I think that like I'm eventually gonna upgrade this witch, but I, I think it's insane that I have I can get to like a level eleven witch and then still have witch tokens. Um, I immediately crystalled the clock uh, in order to upgrade the Enchant Sword to 12, from 11 to 12. Uh, and then that was with the idea that I was probably going to use the, the Book of Secrets on uh, the Enchant Sword. Um, 
As a separate side project, I really think that a level 11 um, monk, which I can totally get right now, I mean, not right now, but um, I, I have the, the, the means to get it. Um, I think that a level 11 monk with illumination as opposed to tranquility, because tranquility isn't as amazing anymore. Um, I think that if you use illumination with, um, with mermaid, uh, mermaid at level five, uh, when, once you get like the defense, um, and you can remove all negative effects from everything. I think if you full board your monk and then use mermaid and then use illumination to just slowly upgrade your field, I think that's pretty good. I mean, I don't know if it's pretty good, but it sounds really fun and it sounds really easy. Um, I mean, it's probably not easy, but it sounds really fun. I don't know. Um, so once I, yeah, once I finish off this, uh, this gadget, I'm going to, uh, hard focus on mermaid, uh, to get to level five. Um, but that's my plan.